Kodiak. Well, welcome now, dear friends, to the Monday edition of Fresh Bread. Well, we are in Thanksgiving week. How about that? It's Monday, November the 27th of 2023. So glad you can join me here this morning for this new week of fresh bread. Again, this is Reverend Phil Anderson here, pastor of Oakland United Methodist Church in Kansas Avenue, United Methodist Church in the capital city of Topeka, Kansas. Wanted to remind you, first of all, of our traditional Thanksgiving Eve service that's going to take place as it typically has in the past at 6 p.m. the night before Thanksgiving. And this year that'll be on Wednesday, November 22nd, 2023. At the Oakland campus, that's the course at Northeast Sardu and Chester. And it's for both Kansas Avenue and Oakland members. We'd love to see you there. If you need a ride, let me know. My number is 785-224-6432. Just text me. Again, 785-224-6432. If you need a ride, let me know by about 3 o'clock that afternoon. We'll make sure somebody gets by and picks you up. And we'd love to see a good turnout this year. You know, it's an... Uh, Kind of fortunate, I guess you could say. And I kind of hate to use the word unfortunate because I believe God gets people there who he wants to get there. But I would really like to see more people come on Thanksgiving Eve, just like on the, the other one that we've kind of instituted. I don't know if it had been done in the church much before, but that was on uh, watch night service on the 31st of December. Really meaningful times just to come and reflect and to give thanks to God, of course, before Thanksgiving. And then I would even say the watch night service that's coming up, and that'll be at Kansas Avenue, by the way, 4 p.m. on December 31st. You might put it on your calendar. Now that's that Sunday of uh, New Year's Eve. But that's even a time of giving thanks. We just thank God for the past year and everything he's brought us through, everything he's done for us in the past, everything he's doing for us now, and everything he's going to do for us in the future. So just a good time to be thankful, right? This is a, a, an attitude we should have all year. It's just funny, though, how we get to this time of year and we're all more inclined to just be thankful. Well, again, thank you for joining me. We missed a week or two on Fresh Bread. I was out one week, and then the week I came back, it's just been sort of playing catch up. So we're here now, thank God. And I want to share with you today out of Romans chapter 2 and verse 4. And this will just be a real quick one today. And we'll talk maybe a little more about it tomorrow. But this verse, uh, let's go back to read the first part of actually this chapter talking about Romans chapter 2. We'll just read the first few verses. You therefore have no excuse, you who pass judgment on someone else, for at whatever point you judge the other, you are condemning yourself, because you who pass judgment do the same things. Well, that goes back to the old saying, we kind of practice, we got to practice what we preach, but a lot of people don't. They like to point out the flaws in others, and they've got the same things, if not worse, going on in their own life. And I think that's part of that critical spirit that we use to help prop ourselves up and to make ourselves look good, kind of to con ourselves into thinking we're better than we are or doing better than we are, or more obedient than we are. And we like to sometimes elevate ourselves by tearing someone else down. Well, it's really not the way that God wants us to do it. So just be careful. You know, the best thing is you can do is just take care of yourself. And then when God wants you to help somebody else, do it in a positive, in a loving, and encouraging way, uh, an edifying way. We want to build people up. Remember how patient God was with you and with me, and we want to be patient with others because God's still working with them. Amen. We'll talk more about that tomorrow, but I want to keep going. Now we know that God's judgment against those who do such things is based on truth. So when you, a mere man, pass judgment on them and yet do the same things, do you think you will escape God's judgment? In other words, God knows what you're doing. Quit trying to play games with God. And then verse 4 is really what I wanted to look at. Or do you show contempt for the riches of his kindness, tolerance, and patience, not realizing that God's kindness leads you towards repentance? So we're going to stop there today. Come back tomorrow for more fresh bread. And we're going to talk about that last verse, Romans chapter 2, verse 4. You get your Bibles out. In the meantime, you can check it out again. Romans chapter 2 and that first section of Romans. So it's so powerful. Thanks again for joining me. God bless you. Have a great rest of the day here on Monday. We'll be back tomorrow for more fresh bread. 
Until then, take care. God bless you. And we'll talk to you then.